I get a lot of emails from new EDIUS editors, and a lot of times they say, you know, things don't, don't seem to work the same on my computer as they do in your tutorials. Um, just not sure what's going on, but it just, it just doesn't work like the way you're showing us. And uh, when we track this down, it usually has something to do with uh, the fact that they have gotten themselves into a different mode. So I thought it might be good to do a quick tutorial on what mode you are in and how it can affect your mood if you get into the wrong mode. Like most video editing software, EDIUS has some background settings that can have a major impact on how clips respond when you place them on the timeline, when you interact with them on the timeline. Uh, but just to stir things up a little bit, EDIUS has assigned some keyboard shortcuts to toggle back and forth in between these background settings and so an editor can, especially a new editor, can inadvertently uh, get themselves into a different mode without realizing it just by inadvertently or accidentally hitting a keyboard shortcut. For example, uh, one of the things that can really change the way things happen on the timeline is by being in the overwrite mode as opposed to the insert mode. You can change this in several ways. Probably the most convenient place is right here at the top of the timeline window. Uh, and you can just, by clicking on this once, toggle back and forth between being in the overwrite mode or the insert mode. And uh, if you look closely at the icon and how it changes, the symbolism there uh, is uh, quite appropriate for being in the overwrite mode uh, or the insert mode there. Now, by default, when you first start up EDIUS, EDIUS opens up the program to be in the insert mode, unless you have changed some settings the way we have suggested in some of the earlier tutorials. So if you fired up EDIUS and have been trying to play around with it, and you got frustrated about the way it was working, how it wasn't quite working the way you're used to, uh, say, Adobe Premiere working, it's probably because you have started the, a project and you have found yourself in the insert mode without realizing it. Well, what's the difference between being in the insert mode and the overwrite mode? Well, let's go ahead and uh, grab a clip. I've found a clip here that uh, we want to insert onto the timeline. We've got an in and an out. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and place it right over this interview. And if we are in the insert mode, notice what happens. EDIUS will take that clip that was already there automatically make a split on the clip and push the end of the clip down the timeline as you insert your new material. If, however, you are in the overwrite mode and you bring this new source material in and place it on the timeline right where you want it, notice that your new material overwrites the material that was already there and there's nothing down the timeline. And what can happen, even, is if you know about this and you, you know that you want to be in the overwrite mode as you drag and drop clips in, especially at the beginning of a project and you're putting something together very quickly, what can happen is, without realizing it, you could hit the keyboard shortcut to toggle this back to the insert mode. And that's simply by hitting the insert key and uh, then you find yourself in the insert mode again and you see this material at the end and you think well what's it doing there and you you click on it to hit delete and you end up deleting the, your well you can see that it can cause some problems now if you are an editor coming from an avid perspective uh, and uh, you're used to the three-point edit style and you've uh, maybe you've set up your in and out points on your timeline and you've got your in point uh, determined uh, in your source clip and you go ahead and use the overwrite apply button to bring in your material then um, you may not notice the problem even if you are in the insert mode because each time you apply your clip you're using your overwrite button and uh, this overrides the fact that you are in the insert mode but if you're uh, coming from uh, Premiere Pro, uh, you're probably used to the more the free form style of editing where you're assembling your timeline very quickly using the drag and drop method. And if you're doing that and you're in the insert mode, then you know that you're 
I'm probably going to have some difficulties. So go ahead and always keep an eye on that. If you start having problems, noticing problems, uh, that's probably the first place to look. Am I in the insert mode or am I in the overwrite mode? And for the most part, you will want to be in the overwrite mode. And if you want to prevent uh, accidentally getting into the uh, insert mode by uh, hitting a keyboard shortcut for that, you might want to go to your settings, application settings, and keyboard shortcuts and sort on operation and look for an operation called toggle insert overwrite and uh, maybe just hit the no assign key for that. Actually while you have your keyboard shortcut uh, tool open you might want to also look for set ripple mode because here is another one of those modes that you can get into with a keyboard shortcut that can uh, cause a lot of confusion as you're working maybe on a late night project, one of those all-nighters, and you accidentally get yourself into the ripple mode when you're working on a complex timeline and uh, things uh, start going crazy on you. Uh, here it is right here. You'll see that it has been set by default by Edius to the standalone R key. And so it is a, a keyboard shortcut that can be hit quite uh, accidentally. I would recommend going ahead and just hitting no assign for that as well and hit apply. And don't worry, we're not uh, locking you into anything here. You can still, uh, when you feel that you need to be in a ripple mode, and there are times when it can be helpful to be in a ripple mode, you can always go up to a menu setting under mode and uh, have the ripple mode toggled on or off this way, as well as the sync mode. They can also be set in the timeline window on your icon strip. Uh, right next to the overwrite mode is a little down arrow and when you click it you can have the sync mode on or you can have the sync mode off and same with ripple mode it can be set on or it can be set off and for the way that I edit most of the time I want to have this set off with a little orange bar across it and also have the sync mode off just to give you an idea of what can happen to your timeline should you by accident toggle into one of these modes. Let's uh, set the ripple mode on and you notice that by the fact that there's no orange bar through it. Now with the ripple mode on should we do something as simple as a trim on our clip. Notice that as you attempt to do the small trim in between these two clips that what you're actually doing is affecting your whole timeline all the way down for all of your clips. And should you at the same time have the sync mode on, now watch what happens when we do something as simple as a trim. Not only are we moving all of our clips down the timeline, we're moving all of our other media that we may have on our timeline as well. And uh, you might not even know what's happening. You may be completely zoomed in on your timeline and and just making that small edit that you want, not realizing that you are in fact pushing all of your media down as you go. So you can see how this can absolutely wreak havoc on your timeline if you are in the wrong mode and it can very quickly get you into the wrong mood. And so I recommend uh, for most of the type of editing that you will do is to have your ripple mode set off and your sync mode turned off they will work a lot better and they will work more in sync with the tutorials that we're doing here at ediustips.com. Now you're probably wondering if these modes do cause such havoc on the timeline, why are they even there? Now there are times when it actually is helpful to have your uh, ripple mode on and your sync mode on and uh, that way if you're having to insert total new material into a timeline just before it's ready to print and you want to be able to insert that media quickly, uh, it will then push everything down for you and you've got that inserted media. All of the tracks at the same time have been pushed down your timeline and you've just got the new material. Now in reality when you're working on documentaries uh, it's a little difficult to, to actually do that kind of edit uh, without also then going back down and reworking your uh, narration perhaps and your music tracks and so it's not always just a matter of setting your ripple mode and your sync mode on and dropping in some media uh, however it is good to know that uh, 
there are some possibilities there for you should you need to insert some media at the last minute. Okay, well that's it for modes and uh, hopefully that helps clear up some of the issues and uh, it's a good idea to really familiarize yourself with what these modes are, what they do, and how to get into them, how to get out of them, so that uh, you can keep yourself in a happy mood as you edit.